Good day, grade nines. Um, I'm moving on to activity 7.4. Page 75 in your textbooks, please. And page 48 in your accounting books. So let's read what they are asking us to do. Um, Pestana Traders, so that is the name of the business that we work at, or it is the name of our business, started trading on the 1st of June, 2018. They want us to record the transactions provided below in the debtor's journal of Pestana Traders for June 2018. Pestana Traders marks up their goods by 60% on cost price. The following clients applied for and were granted credit. W. Dube with a credit limit of 1,000, Isim Piwe with a credit limit of 1,250, and W. Tokane with a credit limit of 850. So in other words, they have 30 days to pay back the money that they owe on those goods. Right, and remember we still go um, D1, D2, and D3. Right, transactions for July 2018. On the 9th, we sold goods with a cost price of 900 Rand on credit to Isim Piwe, invoice number 01 issued. Okay. So our clues over there, sold goods with a cost price on credit invoice. So this tells me it goes to the debtor's journal. Sold goods on credit to W. Dube for 944 Rand, DJ. Issued an invoice for goods sold on credit to W. Tukane, 720. Those are all DJ entries. I'm going to do the first one with you, and then these two will be for homework, please. All right, so we know that we're going to my DJ, activity 7.4, um, document number, we told, we're told that it was 01 on day nine. The debtor that we sold goods on credit to was Isim Piwe. Okay, and Isim Piwe is debtor number two. And we sold goods with a cost price of 900 Rand. So we are going to have to work out my selling price. Hopefully you can remember that formula. Selling price equals cost price 900 divided by 1 times 100 plus percentage. And they told us that they have a 60%. All right. So 900 divided by 1 times 100 plus 60, which is 160, divided by 100. So my selling price is going to be 1,000. 440 and that is the amount that we need to enter in there right I'm going to ask please that the transaction on the 15th and the 27th you please complete and I will give you the answers on the 28th of May so this is homework please make sure that you complete that